What is up, Finn fans? Oakland Raider fans? Patriot fans? Um, the reason why I said those other two teams is if you can't tell by the title, I'm unfortunately going to be talking about Antonio Brown. Before I jump into the Antonio Brown debacle and whatever you want to call it, drama, clown, circus, all that stuff, let's talk about what happened with the Dolphins today. The Dolphins gave Jesse Davis a three-year extension worth about $15 million, $8.5 million fully guaranteed. I don't know why. I would have waited for Jesse Davis to play this year. I would have waited for Jesse Davis to show that he can hold down that right tackle, right guard spot. I would have waited. But they gave him the fully guaranteed 8.5 million three years. So it's about, if they spread it out throughout the three years, it's like two point something million a year. If not, it's 8.5 this year. I don't know why. I don't know why. They apparently see something in him that we don't. They probably see the promise in him that we don't. Uh, but again, I don't understand why they gave Jesse Davis the extension. It's, I don't know. But the reason why you guys clicked on this video is Antonio Brown was released by the Oakland Raiders and he is now with the New England Patriots. I was not going to make a video on this guy. When he got released, when all the drama happened yesterday and then the drama this morning and then he eventually got released, I said to myself, I'm not making a video on him. I don't care enough to make a video on him. It's a big deal that he got cut. He is the best, on field, one of the best receivers in the NFL, hands down, on field. Off the field, complete head case. Um, so when all that stuff happened, I was like, nah, I'm not gonna make a video. I'm gonna leave it alone. He's not, and it has nothing to do with the Dolphins. The Dolphins are not getting him. I didn't want the Dolphins to get him. It was a null and void thing. I didn't need to worry about it. It's, it is what it is. Cool. Go, go on with your life. But then the New England Patriots just had to jump in. And the funny thing is, if you follow me on Twitter, be sure to follow me on Twitter, at WDWrong, when he got cut, I said, as soon as he got cut, I said the Patriots are going to get him. I said it. I friggin' knew it. And then the Patriots signed him. And I was watching the Clemson-Texas A&M game. And I saw it go across the bottom of the ticker. And I was like, now I got to make a video. <laughs> so let's just, let's just real quick talk about Antonio Brown, right? So Antonio Brown gets traded from the Pittsburgh Steelers to the Oakland Raiders for nothing. I think it was like a third and a fifth or a fourth and a fifth. I don't even know, nor did I care. Nothing. They got traded for literally nothing, for marbles, because the Steelers knew that this dude was a complete head case. So he goes to the Oakland Raiders, and I think he signed a, a contract extension. You know, he was given a lot of money, and then the Oakland Raiders were saying, you know, we, we got the next best thing. And then, you know, he was talking about Derek Carr and how great they are together. But then, then drama started happening. He got frostbite on his feet from going in cryo chamber with no shoes on. Then he's dealing with the whole issue with the helmet that he wanted to play with a helmet that was 10 years old that w didn't go with the regulation because they're really trying to stick with the CTE and all that stuff. So there was drama, tons of drama. He wasn't in camp, he left camp. He was gonna retire if he couldn't play with his helmet. Well, I'm a big baby, all that stuff, right? That stuff gets situated. That stuff gets fixed. I don't know how. Eventually, they give him the helmet. He finds a helmet he likes. Everything's going to be great. He's going to be playing Monday night against the Broncos. Gets into a fight with Mike Mayock. Said he wants to punch him in the face. Calls him a cracker. Um, and then it came down to John Gruden need to make a decision. You're going to stick with this receiver, who again, on field, best receiver in the league, or you're going to stick with your GM. Because if he stuck with the receiver and Antonio Brown played on Monday or there was no punishment or repercussion, I don't think my, Mike Mayock would have made it to the end of the season nor the end of the week. So they fine Antonio Brown $215,000, which in turn that fine voided his $29 million guaranteed. So once they fine him, he was like, oh, so now my money's not guaranteed anymore? And goes on Instagram and says he wants to be released. So then the Oakland Raiders release him. But mind you, before this happened, before he gets fined and before he asked for his release, he had this emotional apology to the Raiders team and, and all that stuff. There's a big emotional apology. Then he gets released. Also had a full-blown discussion with John Gruden that he recorded two-minute long discussion and put that online as well. When else did he do that? Hmm? With the Pittsburgh Steelers when Tomlin was giving, yeah, funny, huh? So they, they release him and everyone goes into a big uproar. 
Oh my God, Antonio Brown's released. Oh my God, they, you know, the Steelers gave up two picks for him and now they don't, they release him. It was a waste of picks and all this stuff and all this jazz and da 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 da. So again, he gets released. I go on Twitter and I say, wow. Because I didn't, see, I didn't think it would happen. I honestly think that, I thought that it would get situated because the Raiders are the Raiders. No offense to the Raider fans, but the Raiders are the Raiders. They want to win. Win now, baby. And uh, they just, they want the best players on their team. And Antonio Brown's the best, and he's, but he's a huge head case. So they cut him. And I say to myself, wow, New England Patriots are going to sign him. And a lot, as soon as he got cut, I had a lot of people hit me up on Twitter. A lot of people hit me up in Twitter um, DMs and a lot of people hit me up on uh, Facebook saying, should the Dolphins go for him? Should the Dolphins go for him? Should the Dolphins go for him? No. Just so you know, if some big name player who is a prima donna, who is a head case, who is a me, 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 me player gets cut at any point in the season, do not think the Dolphins are going for him. That is the exact reason Kiko Alonso got traded. He was um, freelancing too much, especially in practice. He did a lot last year. He did it in practice. The coaches told him to stop doing it. He didn't like that. He didn't like that he couldn't do what he wants, a.k.a. also in Dominican Sue. So then he asked for his release. Dolphins are not in the business of bringing in prima donna overpaid head cases anymore. So again, if you see these things happen, Dolphins don't want them. So he got cut and, you know, Dolphins, no. Dolphins don't want them. Goes to the New England Patriots. He signs with the New England Patriots for one year up to $15 million dollars in uh, bonuses and stuff. So essentially he's gonna make 15 million a year because he's gonna stay with the Patriots this year. They give him $9 million signing bonus. So essentially to sign the paper to be on the New England Patriots, they gave the man $9 million. They also gave him $15 million in uh, other stuff. That's the Patriot way. The Patriots are like, oh, this guy's a head case. Oh, this guy's this, this guy's that. All right, we'll take him because We'll, if he wants to play for us, he's going to need to shut up and play because we will, they, they think if they go to New England, they're going to a Super Bowl. So they're going to go to New England to win. That's, that's all fine and dandy, but I don't think Antonio Brown is the type to shut up. I don't think Bill Belichick, I think this is a type of receiver that I don't think Bill Belichick is going to be able to quiet down and stop him from being Antonio Brown. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I saw this coming because you look at all the other teams in the NFL, no one else wants to touch him with a 10-foot pole. So the Patriots are like, we'll take him. We'll take him off your hands. So now he's on the Patriots. Mind you, they cut Michael Thomas. They picked up Michael Thomas when he was released from Denver. They cut him. They had an opening. So now they got Edelman and they got um, Antonio Brown. So... I, and now I could, be, I could be the typical Dolphin fan and say, you know... Oh, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all because Xavier and Howard this or our defense is going to... It does bother me. I don't want to face Antonio Brown twice a year because as much as Antonio Brown is a head case, as much as Antonio Brown is a pain in the butt off the field, on the field, he is still incredibly dynamic. Right? So, it is it it is what it is. Um, I, it just... We'll see what happens. And the thing that really does suck is he's not going to be able to play with the uh, the New England Patriots this Sunday, obviously, because they just picked him up. So guess when he's going to play with the New England Patriots? Guess his first game against the New England Patriots, with the New England Patriots. It's against the Miami Dolphins in Miami. So it's going to be real interesting to see how he does with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots in their first game against Miami. So that's essentially what happened today. Antonio Brown gets cut. Signs with the New England Patriots, one year, 15 million, nine million signing bonus. Essentially gave him $9 million to come play for them and just to sign the contract. Like the Patriots, and now the people are like, that's the Patriots are playing chess. That's the Patriot way. They find the gems. Because blah, 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 blah. then next year, if they don't want to sign him and he signs for someone else, they're going to get a third round compensatory pick. But it, that's not the Patriot way. The Patriots are just, they just sit back and they wait for someone to make a stupid mistake. They probably watched the Oakland Raiders and Antonio Brown situation and said, oh, that's going to, he's going to get released. And we'll pick him up. Why not? And that's what they did. So that's what happened today. Antonio Brown gets cut from the o Oakland Raiders. None of the money is going, they don't owe him any of the money because, again, they fined him, which voided the $29 million, uh, guarantee that he was offered. So they don't cost anything. And he's now with the New England Patriots and the Dolphins have to face him twice a year. But we'll see how that pans out. Last time they did that with Randy Moss, it didn't pan out too well for the Dolphins. 
We got mossed a lot. Even we third, we triple teamed him, and we got mossed a lot. We'll see what happens, though. I, I don't. I'm not. It worries me, but it doesn't worry me because I think that this team is. I've said it time and time again. We're building in the right direction. We're going to take over this division very easily. So be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think of the Jesse Davis extension that came out of nowhere. I thought they'd wait on that, but it's not that much. It's like like I said, two million a year. If they do keep, if it's fully guaranteed, if the 8.5 fully guaranteed goes across the three-year extension. But let me know. Comment below what you should think about the Jesse Davis extension. That one made me scratch my head. I'm going to do more research on that. I'll, I'll talk about that more. Let me know what you think of Antonio Brown going to the Patriots, getting cut by the Oakland Raiders. I think he's a clown. I don't like that type of mentality at wide receiver. I don't like Odell Beckham for the same ideas that he has and the same way he acts. So be sure to comment below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Because as soon as this news break, as soon as the news broke of him getting cut, as soon as the news broke of Jesse Davis getting signed to an extension, I tweeted it out first, gave my opinions. I also said the whole Patriot, he's going to sign with the Patriots way before that happened. So be sure to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dougley Durong. Um, but other than that, guys, tomorrow, Dolphins, Ravens. Also, I put out my preview video. So be sure. I'm going to pop it up somewhere. So be sure to go check that out. You can give see how I feel about Dolphins-Ravens uh, game and uh, see if I pick who, to, who I pick to win if you haven't watched it yet already. But other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow with my post-game video. Uh, but like usual, stay classy. And fins up.